PBS 17 helped folks in an apartment complex in South Durham get rid of a mm -hmm. mound of trash that has just been sitting there. Uh, however, the issues with water leaks and bugs still have yet to be addressed. CBS 17's Crystal Price is live at Triangle Place Apartments. Crystal, you were able to get the city to come out and actually do an inspection there. Yes, after I called the city on Monday about some of the problems these tenants were having out here at this apartment complex, they did send an inspector out here, and that inspector found some violations. Now, if you'll take a look here, you can see the apartment complex did clear some of the trash from the dumpster, but unfortunately, it's starting to pile up once again, and some tenants say they're still dealing with unlivable conditions. It just sounds like a marsh over here. We first introduced you to Kylie Rhiannon Austin on Monday. And it separated the entire carpet. And showed you the drenched carpet she's having to deal with from a water leak in her apartment. And all of this is absolutely soaked. You can see it coming up around my foot. Three days after our story aired. She says the leak has gotten worse. I can't uh, walk to the laundry room or that bathroom barefoot without wanting to throw up because it's just stagnant water, stagnant, cold, mucky water. After Austin also showed me black mold, as well as gnats and fruit flies getting into her refrigerator. I reached out to the city's Neighborhood Improvement Services Department. They sent an inspector who found violations, which means the apartment complex will have a certain amount of time to fix these problems or they will be fined. We're human. We should be living in humane conditions. Austin is one of multiple tenants having a hard time getting repairs done at this complex. Soon enough it's going to either cave in or it's going to hit electrical. To protect these tenants, Durham City Council has been considering passing a tenant's bill of rights over the last year. Something that could prevent tenants from having to pay rent if their landlord has not corrected a housing code violation. But there has been no public discussion on this proposal for months. Austin is calling for action by the city. It's just going to get worse if they don't start protecting their tenants. Do you feel protected right now? I don't. Um, I feel like we're just kind of being brushed off to the side by the complex, by the city, and by the state right now. We're human. We should be living in humane conditions. And anyone in Durham who is renting can call the city to have their home inspected. For more information on that, go to our website at cbs17.com. Reporting live in Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. All right, Crystal, thank you.